What's up, duelists? It's Nerp here. And did I just call you guys duelists? Uh, or is it duelers? I don't know. I called you guys scrollgers, but um, I don't know what the term is for duelists players, but whatever. Today we're going to be playing some ranked, and I it's been very hard for me to rank up now, but I am actually on a bit of a win streak here, going for a, the sixth in a row. But before this uh, string of six, I've been losing, winning, and I haven't really been moving at all. These players uh, that are gold that I'm facing, they're much more experienced than me. They all have like the 100 wins with multiple factions. And I'm just sitting here uh, trying to keep pace with them. But I guess I am now because I have five wins in a row, and it's very important you keep your win streaks. Um, like a win now is more important than a win if I lose the next game and a win after that because when you're on a win streak every win counts as like two wins for ranking up so I don't want to lose that win streak uh, we're gonna play with Lionar midrange I'm actually gonna show you my deck I updated my deck and crafted a few cards I actually just went to the duelist subreddit I'm a great, uh, great part of the community I think you guys should check out I'm trying to uh, be more active on it myself but I went to the sidebar and looked at one of the uh, deck lists of one of the tournament winners I saw and I made a deck similar to his with a few slight modifications for cards that I don't have like he had two Elix Stormblades I only have one so it's a modified Lionar deck of my old Lionar deck notably without things like Sundrop Elixir and gaining healing mist and stuff like that. So that's actually what I have for my five uh, game win streak today. So I'm going to play this. Also, gave my decks a little colors. Sorry about the two minute rambling. We'll play now. Lionar Mirror Match. So, yeah, see, this guy is racking up the wins. I gotta. I'm facing some tough opponents, so who's going first? I'm going first. Uh, I'll play two drop turn one, and then I have actually a good curve here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change any cards. We'll have options if we want to destroy someone with two health, or play a provoke dude. We have options. Good luck, have fun to you, sir. Mm hmm. Healing Mystic, well, at least he plays that when he can't play, when he doesn't get any healing. Two Healing Mystics. So be it. I can actually... <laughs> I can go down here, grab the Mana Spring, move up here, and then play Holy Immolation. Or is that just too greedy? Yeah, it's too greedy, I think. I think, uh... I think I should just play the Dial Toss. Or actually, I'm going to play uh, Sparklight Regalia. I think that's pretty good in the mirror. Mm -hmm. So. Let's play the Arc Light. I guess destroy one of these. And then bring you down to one health so I can get rid of it with the Arclight Sentinel if I need to. And I'll keep the rest of my hand just for options. And a Saber Spine Tiger. So, pretty good start for us. In the beginning, I wish they made so the names on the top would stay there. Now you have to hop your mouse over it because it's important to know which side you're on in a mirror match. I always have to move a mouse in the corner to see if I'm going first or second in the mirror match because it matters a lot for what you decide to mulligan in your starting hand because each side starts with different resources. Um, from my limited uh, time playing this game, I guess not that limited. Now. I have played for over a year now. Well, subtract like nine months out of a year in between but 
I think it might be better to go second. That is my hypothesis. I just think that, like playing two two drops is really cool there. Okay. Um give this four attack, knock that down one, and heal it up. Wouldn't really do anything though. I mean I guess I could play this and do the same thing. Yeah, I'll do that and do the same thing. I'll get rid of the Arclight Sense and all at this point. Spell a 2x2 two two area on the battlefield. That gets rid of this, right? I think so. I think it gets rid of artifacts. Because I did it last last game I played on a Magmar... Or actually, no, I, it was a spell that it had on artifacts. Okay, so I can play... You know, screw it. Scratch that strategy, we're just gonna... play like this. Oops. No, attack! Slightly messed that up. I meant to actually give the plus two attack to the wolf. So I can just get that attack in right away. Oh well. Actually, maybe it works out that way because I can deal seven damage to this now. Um, I could dispel, but that wouldn't be too smart, would it? So I have five mana to work with. Um, let's get rid of one of the Silver Guard Knights. Cool, we drew, drew a five, box, drop, 5 drop. Perfect. Or is that perfect? We want to get rid of this right now. What a rule. Deal big damage there. And... I don't know. I'm just going to provoke him. And... Yeah, I'll attack here. Because he'll probably just attack the zero attack, provoking him. He's a choice with his units. A little low on health now. Hopefully I draw some of those healing mystics. Don't think I've drawn any of them yet. Next turn, I'll have six mana. I have no creature to place with a holy emulation, though. So hopefully this big dude survives. He likes Stormblade. Wow, that is one big dude. Uh, you provoke, right? Oh my god, so many things that are provoked right now. <laughs> every every minute on the board is provoked twice. His general twice too. I could Sunbloom his Elix Stormblade. Let's see, two of these plus that would kill. I don't want to waste all that. I think it's time for a Holy Immolation. I deal three damage there, and then I finish it off with this. Yeah, that's that's the clear play. And I'll. Get rid of the Saber Spine Tiger. I think we saw Holy Emulation here. So, and a perfect Holy Emulation. Couldn't have done it better myself. Oh, can we? Can this thing attack? I guess it can. We have an attacking tombstone, guys. <laughs> an attacking tombstone. 
How does that work? And he's double provoked. I have more health on my Darnold than him. I have more cards. It's looking good. Don't want to get too cocky though. Oh, by the way, that uh, that what's it called? That gauntlet run from last duel's video. I ended up with exactly seven wins. Which is just enough for me to get another gauntlet ticket so I can play the next game for free and I get a couple extra rewards. Uh, I would have liked more than seven, but I guess I'll take seven because that's just enough for the gauntlet ticket. Hmm. He's provoking me here. I can dispel it, and then how much face damage can I deal? Two, four. Seven, and then yeah, I win. Okay, GG. So, dispel. Nope. I have to dispel, like, my units, too. Oh, well. And now, we attack. GG, sir. Good game. Give the tip a five. And then we. Six in a row. We are now seven. Don't want to drop down now. I really want to get this uh, S rank. Got in there last July. Um, we're at 11 minutes, 12 minutes. We can play again. Same deck. We're on a nice win streak here. Six in a row. Let's make it seven. Really helps you rank up quickly. McKinsky going first. No two drops of play, unfortunately. Let's roll the dice and hope for a two drop. Um, I guess I'll get rid of this guy for now. Okay, I did get a two drop. Not the preferred two drop. I would have loved a wind blade adept. But can't have everything, right? And we'll keep a curve up. One problem play one problem with the healing mystic as the two drop is uh you don't get to have anything more than a two three for two. Would love to use that ability, but everybody's at full health in the first turn of the game, right? Okay, is he gonna play something big this turn? Veteran Silthar. I was gonna guess that right now. We do have a uh, sun bloom for when we want to deal with that. I guess. Um, do you know another one of these guys. If I move diagonal down here, I get to play the idle toss. Which yeah, I'm gonna do. Just maximize my resources. You know, I don't really need provoke at the moment. Don't want to be able to be killed. Actually, that's fine. I'll just get right in his face so he can't get too much mana. And next turn, I'll have four to play with, and I like my options in my hand at the moment. I don't know, maybe the Silverguard Knight, which would have been better there, because it has more health and higher chance of surviving to use a holy immolation next turn. And that just turns out to an egg. That kinda sucks. Because he could use that egg on anybody. It's gonna take his whole turn. Um I can actually get away with destroying the egg here and not even have to use Sunbloom, just use a Saber Spine Tiger. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, I wish I could actually do the Sunbloom 
and the Silver Guard Knight, but I can't. Yes, let's do that. Uh, let's do it like this. This is the only way I can do it, right? I didn't even replace this turn. Um, I should probably replace something. <laughs> let's get rid of the Sun Bloom for now. Up, oh, I guess we're giving him extra attack. Just cuz. And I will have five mana next turn, so I will, should replace something. Goodbye. Holy Immolation. That's a ballsy replace there, getting rid of Holy, Zim Holy Immolation, but we, drop, we top deck a five drop. Okay, at least I do 5 damage there. Oh, really? I don't play that turn? That makes me very happy. Um, in that case, I'm going to double provoke this dude. Have fun getting out of that, Mibinski. And I won't replace anything. I like the cards. Surprised he had nothing to play. Ooh, well played. That was a sly move there. Killed both of those. Very good timing. Um, I think I'm gonna play the Iron Cliff Guardian. And do I keep trading? Like, I don't know. I'll play the Iron Cliff. Give this plus one, plus two attack. Uh, get rid of the arc light. With that having extra attack now, it's like scary. Yeah, I'll deal damage. I have a lot of provoked units, and I'm gonna get plus two health from this healing mystic soon. And then a Holy Immolation, nice. I can actually play that right away down with a Healing Mystic. What does that? Transform all enemy minions into 1-1 one, one man with no abilities into an opponent's turn. Well darn. And now I'm on the back foot. Uh, Not quite actually. I could just play Healing Mystic Holy Immolation. No, that's not that's not the play, is it? What do I do here? Dancing blades kills that. The play is dancing blades, healing mystic, right? Yeah, I think that's the play. I don't I'm not gonna replace anything. Kinda like my hand. Oh, I messed that up. Cancel? Can I cancel playing him? Yes. <laughs> Thank god. Gotta play him so I can heal him. <laughs> uh, only two health it wouldn't probably wouldn't have made a difference, or actually could have. I should, but I like this to spell. Now I gotta go for a creature because I might need to. Oh, no creature next turn. Hopefully, I have to. Ah, he's going all the way back there. I'm not gonna be able to hit him. Silvar Elder. And now, ah, oh, damn. Now I really wish I kept that. Imagine if I had the Dispel right now. I guess Dispel doesn't get rid of a egg. I do have the Tempest, so I should use it to get rid of the egg, right? I guess so. And then... If I only had a... Let's 
Saber Spine Tiger right now, that would be very good. So, Tempest, get rid of the Divine Bond. Okay, we'll have to start with a Tempest. And you can come forward and hit there. Actually, I probably should have given plus two, two, two attack or plus one attack to plus two to my dancing blades. Let's see, how can I win this? At least I have all four attack creatures though, so. Okay. He has a bunch of cards in his hand. Mm. That's not good. I think the wind streak's gonna come to an end, guys. Well, do I do this? Do I do Ironcliff Guardian Holy Immolation? I could go for it. Don't have anything else I can do. I think, I think that might be my only shot here, so I'll, I'll go for it. Iron Cliff Guardian Holy Immolation. You can destroy that, but whatever. And for me to win this game, I'm gonna have to get in here. Okay. Top deck and deal top. I guess I'm top decking now, no cards. Hmm, egg morph. You hate to see that. And he protects well. Okay, let's get a tempest. I'm just gonna hope for a tempest here. I mean, if I don't get it, if I don't get a tempest, probably. Well, I do get to kill the egg here, but then I'm putting myself in danger. <sighs> that's gonna be game. Alright. Yeah, I think that's game. Because if I. Yeah, no matter what I do. If I try to kill that, he'll be able to kill me. So. Let's retreat. And is there a point to playing this? Mm. Yeah, sure. Just in case he has a clear path to killing something. Should I give this the plus attack? Yeah. Iron Cliff Guardian. Need like game changing plays, that's the thing. He's not that close to winning yet, that's the issue. Okay, he's gonna hide. All the way down there. Um, do I play the Iron Cliff Guardian? 
I mean, just get killed rather easily, I think. I'm gonna replace it, look for something. Okay. So now, this can, if I go like this, if I were to go like that, that I could deal three damage to his general right now. Do I do that play? Well, I could actually deal five. Wait, can I deal five? So I go there, then I go there. No, I can't do five, I can deal three. I think I have to do it. Could be my only chance to do any damage. gonna retreat. I guess I should have put plus attack on that, but it doesn't really matter. Now all we're looking for is two Tempest. <laughs> Let's see if we can draw two Tempest uh, before he wins the game. Oh, that's gonna be game, okay. Yeah, I was hanging on by like such a small thread of a chance at winning. Like maybe less than a uh, less than one percent chance of winning this game, but now it's like zero. Because two Tempest would win it. Okay, do I end the game now? No, no chance of coming back. I'll just sacrifice, see what I get. Yeah, I'm gonna surrender. So, well played, sir. That will conclude our win streak. Couldn't quite get to seven. So, that's tough to swallow that I won't have my uh, running through the ranks have to start a new win streak actually get bumped down to eight so we went to seven and went back to eight in this video uh... thanks for watching like the video if you enjoyed subscribe for more content and i'll see you next time Bye.